So this is the motor that I'm going to install back into the truck. It's pretty much just a stock 454 motor um, that came out of a late 80s, early 90s RV. Supposedly it only has 74,000 miles on it, which is pretty common for an RV motor. So we're gonna get started on that. I've already unhooked everything from the motor here, getting it ready to pull. I didn't film that because it's just not that interesting. So let's get started on getting this out of here. Okay, we got the old one pulled out. Now we got this flywheel and harmonic balancer and pulleys on this one. So let's go ahead and get it stabbed back in here. There we go, she's sitting in there again. All they have to do is bolt on the accessories and we can try giving this a test fire. I won't bore you with those details either. So next time you see it, we'll try to start it up. Okay, so everything's now hooked up. Carburetors on and water pumps and temperature gauge, oil pressure. All that stuff's hooked up, radiator's back in, fan's back in, so it's drivable now. So let's uh, go over a few things of what we've done here. I went ahead and uh, changed out the oil pressure. This line is copper, it's a copper line, it's a copper hard line, instead of that plastic line that went into the oil pressure gauge. That the track you have to have a hard line you can't have that plastic one they're afraid it's gonna break or spew all over the motor or something which very well could be we got the temperature gauge up here in the intake manifold I I really would prefer to have it in the head but I didn't want to stretch it over the valve cover so that'll work for now I think the head would give a little bit higher reading uh, probably about five degrees more or so five seven ten degrees uh, that's all done we got got everything got the distributor clock back to where where it should be so before we had the number one plug way over here so clock that back put number one over here where you know most people prefer it to be so one eight four three six five seven two it makes it a lot easier to adjust the, the distributor so you got plenty of room to advance and retard there instead of having your vacuum all the way you know almost touching the firewall you got some new gaskets in uh, freshened up everything on the front end so let's give her a quick start up here I haven't started it today so See how that goes. slow to start there I still didn't hook up the electric choke so 
it was just on the cold start. I'll go back later and put on a power lead and adjust this uh, choke up a little bit. That'll make it a little bit easier to start, but right now it's the middle of summer, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's sounding pretty good right now. So we'll go ahead and take it for a spin. I bought the new tires for the rear. Still gotta get some for the front, but that'll be a lot safer than what it was before. So Let's go ahead and get it buttoned up and take it for a quick test drive. This is the 454 motor that I took out of the truck. So let's pop it open. It wasn't making a whole lot of noise, but might as well find out what the deal was. We'll fix it. Okay, let's have a look inside. Everything looks pretty good so far. Six, seven. All right, we'll get you in here to take a look. Looks like number seven here. I don't know if we 
can hear that or not. It's got a little wiggle in her. But it's not awful. So we'll tear down the motor, check the crank, take it to the machine shop, see if they can save her. And put it back together and use it for the next time we blow the 454. Probably better hurry on that one. That will wrap it up for this episode of Street Rack Garage. The tracks are closed for the next four weeks, so we can't take it out and do the quarter mile. But I bought a new bed. I bought some fenders. We'll start getting that stuff slapped on. By that time, the tracks should be opened back up. And we'll see what this can do in a quarter mile. Until next time.